What's good, YouTube? Lavari, I'm back with another NBA 2K23 build video. In this video, I got you with a hybrid big man build. Now, when I say hybrid, I mean a big man that can shoot, he can dribble, he can ISO, he can rebound, he can block, he can get steals, he can do it all. And he's fast, you know what I'm saying? He can do everything you can think of. That's why they call him the hybrid, all right? And what makes him even more of a hybrid is if you got the, the, uh, the, juice, the juice perk, juice perk. That will really boost up your attributes for real. It really helps. It really helps. And if you got custom core badges, if you got custom core badges, that also helps too. But anyway, let's get right into this build. Now, don't, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not think I'm crazy. But you have to make him a point guard, all right? You got to make him a point guard. Listen, though, he's going to be 6'9". Now, most centers are 6'9". You feel me? Most centers in the game are 6'9". So it's not nothing different. It's just a different position. You know, it might be some position troubles. Like they might put you at the one and have your real point guard at the three. Hey, if that happens, hey, it is what it is. But hey, all that matters is I'm trying to make the best center possible for the park. You feel me? This is for strictly 3v3. I would not use this in the wreck. I do not recommend using this in the wreck at all. If you're going to use this in the wreck, it should not be used as a big man. It should be used as like a three or a four, not a five though. That's for sure. But you want to go six foot nine inches, you know what I'm saying? 218 pounds. The low weight is so you can get high speed, you know what I'm saying? 277 wingspan, you know what I'm saying? You always want to max that, or at least have it all the way up there. First things first, finishing. Your coach shot. Now, listen, this is for 3v3. This is not for the right. This is for 3v3 part or 2v2, 2v2 part, excuse me. This is not for the right. This is not for Pro Am. Do not use it for those, all right? Your coach shot is going to be 56. Your driver layup will be a 75 and your driver dunk will be an 86. That gives you contact dunks, you feel me? You can dunk on defenders. You can get silver posterizing, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these attributes you're going to see that are low and you were probably thinking like, this build not good because these certain attributes are low. Like my close shot, for example. Hey, if you want to be a hybrid, you're going to have to sacrifice something. Something got to get sacrificed, you feel me? But if you want to be able to do everything, then this is what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Standard dunk with me at 51. I'm not really going to be worried about that. You feel me? We're not going to be in the post with this build because, like I said, this is a hybrid. Now, we're not going to be in the post, though. You know what I'm saying? 67 mid range. You're going to go 82 three point. Three point going to be at 82. That's good enough to make your shots if you know your jumper. You feel me? If you know how to shoot, you know how to shot, you can shoot. Um, your free throws are 59. Now, it's up there. It's high. One full badge points. And then two, if you would use this in the right. Like I said, do not use this for a center position. I kind of wouldn't even use it for a power four position, most likely, because it just, it's not, it's not, it's not big man enough. It's big man, but it's not big man enough, you feel me? But, um, yeah, so we got 10 finishing badges, 15 shooting, and we're going to go down to playmaking. Now, this is where, this is where the hybrid part really comes in. Now, we got a good pass accuracy. Somebody told me in a different video that my pass accuracy is not high enough to make outlet passes off the rebound. That is cap. If you watch my live streams, and if you haven't, you should. You will see that my passes be on point every single time. The only time it's not on point is if a defender on the other team is getting back on defense and he's anticipating the outlet pass. That's the time where you shouldn't even be throwing outlet passes if you know what you're doing. But a 76 is perfect. I go 76 for every player that I make, you feel me? The ball handle is a 70. You can dribble with a 70 ball handle, I promise you. You can dribble. It's not going to be dribbling like you got a 90 ball handle or like an 85. But you can do moves. You can speed boost with a 70 on a 6'9". You feel me? And speed with ball going to be 40. You'll be just fine with a 40. I promise you. Because most likely, you know what I'm saying, you can ISO with this player. But you're not going to be ISOing all the time. It's just if you need to. Especially if the other team's big man can't play that much good defense. They're probably going to be slower than you. So you'll be fine with your speed, your speed with ball being a little bit lower like that. Then again, speed with ball doesn't even correlate to speed with ball like acceleration does. If you anything, I would recommend boosting your acceleration up instead of your speed with ball. My acceleration, we'll get to that in a minute. Interior defense, you're gonna go 82. I always go 82. Your interior defense, once again, does not uh, does not correlate to how much blocks you will get. It doesn't. That's what the block rating does. Trust me, you can get a 99 interior defense and your paint defense will still be shaky. You feel me? That's just 2K for you. It is what it is. You're going to go 76 perimeter defense. You feel me? 90 still. 90 still gets us a gold glove, I think. Is it gold glove? Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, it's silver glove. Hey, silver glove, but that's fine, though. Look, like a little, look, look. 90 still. You're going to get steals. 
especially the pass lane steals. Most of the time, if you don't got a high steal, you're not going to get a pass lane steal. They're going to tip it or you're going to completely miss it. That happens to me all the time on my builds that don't got a high steal rating. But this 90 steal, you're going to get hella steals. I'm telling you. Block, 99. I still recommend putting your block on 99 because the way the, the way the game just works. You need Hall of Fame anchor, you feel me? I don't think gold anchor is good enough. Too many stuff going in the paint, you feel me? 80 offensive rebound, 99 defensive rebound. See, now, see, look, about this, the reason why I went 99 defensive rebound and 80 offensive rebound, which really go against, that goes against all I've been saying recently in my other videos about saying you should have a higher offensive rebound than defensive because defensive rebounds are easier to get than the offensive. This is different because, for one, your player is going to be less of a, how do I explain this? He's less of a big man. He's still a big man that got guard qualities, but he's less of a big man. You want to make sure that you can get the rebounds that matter the most. Now, if listen, if you want to, you can go ahead and switch it. You know what I'm saying? Go for an 80 defensive and then a 99 offensive so you can get the Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Either way, you must have one of them at 99 so you can get Hall of Fame rebound chaser. It's up to you if you want to pick whichever one. But I put 99 defensive just to be sure that my center is not going to be a baby in that paint. Because we're going to need that defensive rebound. That's that's always a necessity compared to the offense. So the offensive rebound is optional. It's optional. For me, you know what I'm saying? That's that's just what I think. The speed going to be at 81. And if you got gym right, your speed is really going to be at 85. So you're really going to be fast for a big man. You feel me? You're really going to be fast. 76 acceleration is really at 80. Yeah, really at 80 acceleration. Your strength is a 57. If you are not comfortable with a 57 strength, then don't even make the build. Look, I'm not going to make no builds that just suck all together. I cook on this build. This build is just fine with me. You feel me? It's just fine for me. It's just fine with a 57 strength. See, I feel like if you're going to park with this build, you're fine. If you're going to the right, you probably going to need, you definitely going to need higher strength. And also, it's also a 57 because I'm not going to be using brick wall because this is for ISO in the park. This is not for pick and roll offense in the park. This is for ISO. If I'm going to use pick and roll offense, I wouldn't make no build with a 57 strength. You feel me? I would get at least a 76 or something like that. 75 or something. Vertical is a 75. You could adjust some stuff to go for a higher vertical, but 75 is fine for me. That works pretty well with most of my builds. My builds are pretty good with a 75. Like I said, you get an 80 when you get the, uh, the gym rat boost. Stamina is 92. You can also lower this and maybe upgrade something else if you want to. But it doesn't really matter because it's not going to be too much of an upgrade, really. Um, like You can probably do that maybe. Get that one, one up to a 76 vertical. It don't really matter, though. Um, so, yeah, that's it for that. And my takeovers, I always use block side wall and spot up precision because, like I said, it's a shooting bid. You want to be able to be able to shoot when you got takeover as well as get more rebounds when you got the box out wall. You feel me? Um, now, badge placement. This really just goes to whichever ones you need most because you're going to only have a little bit of finishing badges, a little bit of shooting badges, and a little bit of playmaking badges. It's going to say three-point shooter. And that's the only thing I don't like about the build because it, it confuses people. Like you want people you're on team with, it confuses them. They trying to figure out why you at the one, why I say three point shooter. Are you really a big man? Look, you are. It is a big man. It's a hybrid. Okay, you could do so much different things, and it's not trash if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, it's not trash. Now the right now recommended badges. That's up to you. I got a badge video if you want to check that out. So you can see what badges I qualify as more important than others. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you got extra badge points, you definitely want to use those on your defense and rebounding so you can make sure that your big man qualities are first priority. That's always first priority. You're a big man. Playmaking is cool and all, but that is not your priority. You should not use any extra points on your playmaking. It should be on your defense and rebounding because that's what you, you know what I'm saying, that's what you need the most. And if you want to, you can split them between defense and rebounding and finishing or maybe even shooting. But definitely not playmaking and shooting is definitely less of a priority too as well also if you got custom core badges uh, i can't look at them right now i thought i could but if you got custom core badges that also will be useful because you can end up coring rebound chaser and ain't going hall of fame and boom you got extra badge points for defense and rebounding for finishing you know what i'm saying or shooting you could do the same thing for one of them i'm not sure which one it depends because it's not it's not too many badge points you got available but anyways, if you want to see me drop gameplay with this build, let me know in the comments. I got you. I don't mind doing that. If y'all need proof that this build works, I can do that. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you sub if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.